Hopkins and High School. I'm your host, Chris Pomeroy, and today, in this inaugural episode of 2018, we've got some exciting new segments for you. First, we're going to jump into a minute with the principal. What's up, HHS? Mr. Bishop here with another minute with the principal. First off, congrats to some amazing writers and artists here at HHS. We recently were made aware that we had 27 state-level art scholastic award winners and 13 scholastic writing award winners totaling 40 winners overall, which is incredibly impressive, so well done. Also, you may have heard, Rebel, our new therapy dog, will be coming to the guidance area every Wednesday during lunch for the remainder of the year, so stop by and say hello. You may have seen the signs around the school, and next Friday, the 16th, the Mass Heartbeat Association will be coming in doing optional heart screenings for any students or staff member interested. The student council will have a table outside of lunch all week for more info. Lastly, just a heads up for the 11th, 10th, and 9th graders, the course selection process for next year will begin with class meetings when we return from your homework-free February vacation. We're excited to be offering some new electives in our wellness department, business technology and engineering departments, as well as some new internship opportunities for any 11th or 12th grader interested in learning more about athletic administration with Ms. King, as well as school administrations with me, Mr. Hanna, or Mr. Pominville. Again, more information on this process after vacation. But enough with the updates. Let's get to the real reason why we are here today. That's right. Today we are here to witness a battle of the wits in a classic game of chess. Mr. Bishop wanted to start changing up minute with the principal, make it a little more exciting, so here we are. Now, Mr. Bishop, how much experience do you have with chess? I've actually never lost, partly because I've never played. But the bishop is named after my great-great-grandfather, Lawrence Bishop. Well, I've been playing since I was five years old. My father actually made a bet with me that he'd pay me $50 the first time I beat him. Still working towards it. Well, sounds like a fair matchup then. Couldn't agree more. Since you control the white pieces, you may move first. The bishop takes the king. Check and mate. Ha ha! Woo! That, that wasn't even a legal move. Well, if you'd like to challenge Mr. Bishop to something, and maybe play by the rules, then you can send an email to either Mr. Bishop or HHS TV, letting us know what you'd like to do and when you'd like to do it. For now, Mr. Bishop, great game. Better luck next time. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Mr. Bishop. Now we're going to take a look at another club here at HHS. This week, we'll see how we make the magic happen here at HHS TV. Hey there. So we're at the HHS TV studios, and I'm going to tell you a bit about what we do. So here in this room is where we edit our shows and store our equipment. Over here, we have our iMac workstations. Here, we have our Windows, mic uh, Windows workstation. We got cameras, a fancy dancy headphone rack, tripods, camera equipment galore. And over here, we have Ken, hard at work, making us look fantastic. So Ken. What is it that you do to produce our Grammy award-winning shows? Well, we come in on Mondays after school, and we sit, and we talk, and usually this talking is about planning, scripting, and then, you know, we go out into the school and go out out there, and we shoot segments, we shoot the anchor, and then once we come back in here, we put it all together, edit it. Fantastic. Now, if you look through these windows, this is the room where we do our anchor. Chris out there, one of a kind. Let's go talk to him. Whoa, we're in here. So this is the anchor room. Here we have Jane operating the camera for the anchor and the teleprompter as well, of which Chris reads off of. Here's where we set up lights to make him look nice. We set audio up for his lav mic, as well as the green screen behind him here. Now, Chris, you are the face of this multimedia empire. What do you have to say? I don't get paid enough. Back to you, David. And we're here in Mr. Bishop's office. How's it going, Mr. Bishop? Hey, David, how are you? Welcome to my office. 
Now that you're here, I actually have an orange pass for you. Oh, thank you. Pleasure to be here. Appreciate it. And this is where we shoot Minute with the Principal. We do all this and much more around the world, not just here in our studio, nor just in HHS. So what would you do if someone gave you a television station? Because we've got one, and it's called HHS TV. If you're interested, since we uh, accept people of any experience level, email us with questions or concerns at hhstv at hillers.org. Now, I don't know if any of you noticed, but for about a week, we were down to one microwave again. What's up with that? Let's go out to HHS Today correspondent Chris Pomeroy in the field. I'm sitting here with Class of 2018 VP Ted Torres, and we are here to talk about a recent incident regarding the microwave. Ted, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right, Chris. Thanks for having me on. So I wanted to start off by talking about your relationship with the microwave. How did you even get involved in all of this? Now, I was sitting in uh, one of my classes one day, and I was thinking, well, what can I do to solidify my campaign? And I figured, what better way to solidify a campaign than to promise the class of 2018 one of the best things they could ever ask for? A microwave. Excuse me, this is a personal interview about the microwave. If you could please, no, you have to leave. You're Sitting in the cafeteria, I noticed a long line every day to heat up their food, and I figured that micro the other microwave was so old. It's been there since Larry's donated it a long time ago, and I figured that uh, this new microwave could really help out the community. Well, as you guys can all see, this is not the microwave that we originally had for uh, the class of 2018 and for the school to use. Unfortunately, our school was uh, vandalized by a member of the Holliston community. He decided to throw a clementine into the microwave and proceed to set the timer for an extremely long period of time, which eventually cooked the clementine inside the microwave and short-circuited it once the clementine exploded inside the microwave. Well, the entire microwave was completely toast. And uh, we went to OP, we asked him, like, is there anything we could do, what, what happened uh, in terms of the situation? And he said that he would contact the Holliston um, uh, school resource officer over there. They ended up um, finding the kid, he had to pay for the microwave and any damages, um, the fire department, stuff like that. Well said, you are the reason we have another microwave, so. Thank you very much. Thank you for that, and I thank you for coming on today. Thanks for having me, Chris. <laughs> it's been great. Just goes to show that oranges are best served room temperature. Coming up next, we have a movie review by HHS alum Declan Curry. This time, without any spoilers, he takes a look at Star Wars The Last Jedi. Hey everyone, sorry it's been a little while. Today we're going to take a deep dive into Star Wars The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi is the latest film in the Skywalker series and attempts to expand on the characters that were set up in The Force Awakens. And in my opinion, it could have done a better job. A lot of the characters that are set up for us in The Force Awakens are uh, just ultimately go nowhere and are flat out boring. The film also has multiple plot lines and the side plot seems like it was kind of just tossed in there. In fact, uh, it kind of makes a sad attempt at trying to have some deeper underlying meaning. Now, I don't want this to be a really one-sided review, so I will give you this. Uh, although the film is filled with poor decisions, some of the action scenes were actually pretty good and I definitely enjoyed a few of them. So uh, in conclusion, The Last Jedi is just an unfortunate, unsatisfying film that only has a few highlights and it tries so desperately to be different than the films in the past that it ultimately fails. So my final ranking for this one is going to be 6 annoying bird seals out of 10. Thank you for watching. If you still haven't seen Star Wars, what are you doing with your life? Lastly, it's time for Have You Seen This? There was no photo last week since last week lasted for about a month. But here's this week's photo. Have you seen this? If you have, email us at hhstv at hillers.org by the end of next week telling us where it is for your chance to win a luxurious HCAM branded water bottle. Want more HHS Today? Visit our webpage at hhs.today to see extra web-only content, and you can take a brief survey to tell us what you want to see here on this show at hcam.tv survey. A few respondents might just receive a prize because we love respondents. And with that, we thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> now we're going to